I do not think that honestly, this is the best choice. I do not think it will improve morale. I do not think it will make things any easier. And I don't think it's going to come to the answer that you want. I, I really don't. I don't think I have an answer, Jenny, because I'm dealing with a child. That's the problem. No, you're dealing with multiple children. Multiple. Yeah. But the problem is, a lot of times, Kyle goes out of his way to give me a hard time for no reason. Because he does not respect me and wants to be insubordinate on purpose to see what I can do. He's constantly pushing my buttons. He's constantly trying to antagonize me under my skin because he knows he can. Right? And I have and shown him nothing but Africa? mercy. Yes. And can I play devil's Africa? That's exactly what Gunnar did to me for months. And I got to the point that you did, and I fired him. And then less than two days later, he was rehired back in UPD. Like, this is what I'm saying. We all get to that point, but you... It's not going to work the way it is, just like us doing it to Gunner. Gunner did the exact same with me. He would push and push. He would, he dealt drugs in front of me, for Christ's sake, Bass. Like, he pushed the line to the actual point where I was, he did a literal climb in front of me, and there was nothing more I could do to save him. And that's Pred. But then the moment I got rid of him and said, right, wash my hands of it, like, you're doing with Pred. If Jenny is not wanting to take it, I back. can't think of anybody it else. It doesn't go yeah. the way you think it's going to do. You think it's going to make a big statement? It's not. I, I do believe placing you as a head of Super Speedy would send the message that we are moving forward and these shenanigans and bullshit will not be tolerated in the PD. That's how I feel. And as the person who's been here watching all of this, I, I disagree. And I don't, and I have the utmost respect for you, Bass. I really, really do. I've never not. Like, I think, Likewise, I think you've been put in a shitty position multiple office. times. But I honestly think that if you're moving forward, it's not moving forward to get rid of him. That's regressing. Moving forward would be going, hey, I know you've had a fucked up time and I know that everything's gone wrong, but this is it. And this is, like, do what you want to do. Friend him. Say, hey, you do this one more time. Jenny's in charge. Pull yourself together. Be a fucking leader. And if then, and at least then you've given him the chance to say, hey, we are going to move forward and we are going to get along. But you just doing this is recessive because you're not communicating with him again, which is exactly the original problem did, with the power struggle. I, I did at the beginning, Jenny. I've had multiple talks with Kyle. And you know what? I hope I'm wrong. I'm going to pull him to the office and give him the same speech you gave me. And I want to see what's going to happen next. I've talked to you about it. I'm going to talk to him mm -hmm. about it. Any further bullshit antics that might cause harm or disturbance to the police department will yield the removal of Kyle Pred from Grand Marshal and placing you instead. And you can do as you please. Okay? 100%. I will right? back that. All right. Yeah. Now we talked He's, about it. Yeah. Now the warning's mm -hmm. been issued. There's no buts, if, what, could have, what should have happened. Mm -hmm. The lines are okay. clear and the, you know, the, the balance are expected now, so. As long as that understanding is there, I don't have an issue with it. 